Hi everyone and welcome in this video where I will explain you how to do features engineering in trading and why this skill brings my trading to the next level. And in the second part of this video, I will give you some practical example in Python. First of all, we need to explain what is features engineering. And the goal is pretty simple. Help our model to better understand our data. That's the main point of the features engineering. But how can we do that? The goal is to transform our raw data, for example, the OHLVC data, open, ILO, close volume, into more understandable features for our model. For now, let me give you a very simple example, which is very known in the features engineering learning. Let's imagine you have some data about the New York City taxi. You will have five columns. We will have the latitude and the longitude of the start point where the taxi will pick up the client and we'll have the latitude and the longitude of the hand point where the taxi will leave the clients. That's our four first worlds, okay? Which is the features of the model, the raw data, okay? And the goal will be to predict the fifth column, which is the price. We are agree to say that these features like that are not optimal because for the model, it will be very, very difficult to find a relation between latitude, longitude of the start point, end point, and the price, okay? That will be so complex for him. And even if in the reality, it's pretty easy. So we need to help him. How can we do that? It will be pretty simple. We will create one row that will explain all the things in the first four rows here. How can we do that? We have so the start point in latitude and longitude and the end point in latitude and longitude. So we'll create the distance between the start point and the end point in kilometers or in miles. And we'll have a much better relation between these new features, which is the distance and the target, which is the price. And it will really boost the accuracy of the model. And that's the goal of features engineering. Help your model to be more accurate. By the way, if you are into the AlphaCon program, the program that I run that combine e-learning videos, seven day of a seven support and monthly project, you need to take a look to the summer challenge, which is to create a profitable bot before the 1st September, okay? Because the main point of this summer will be to work on features engineering to create interesting model to create our trading strategy. So you really need to take a look to it. Now, let me explain you why the features engineering is the key to profitability in trading. The first thing to mention is that the market is one of the most complex things to model because it is continuously evolving. And so the patterns into the market are continuously evolving. Moreover, as retail trader, we don't have a lot of data for free. Especially we'll have the OHLVC data, open ILO close volume, but we can't offer us the data like the H fund or the institutionals. So we need to do with what we have. And the advantage is that if we take this data from our broker, like we can do on MetaTrader 5, for example, we'll have good enough data to work with. So that's a very interesting point. But it means that we'll not have a lot of different type of data. You will have open ILO close volume and you will need to do your modification to help your model. And it is features engineering. You will create some volatility indicators, for example, some technical indicators, statistical indicators. I will detail them into a few minutes. By the way, when you will add new data, like economic indicators, information about the news, it is not really features engineering. It is just adding alternative data into your model. But of course, it can bring a lot of good information. So if you have the possibility to do it, really do it. But it will not be considered as features engineering. Now let's talk very quickly about the different types of features that you can create with the OHLVC data. First of all, we can talk about the technical indicators, which is the most known type of features engineering, RSI, SMA, MACD, and so on. 
The advantage is that you can create them very easily using some Python libraries. For example, the TA library or the TA lib library. To give you an example, I will take a code from the one week one bot challenge, which compute a KMA, which is an SMA with some specificities that will take more into account the latest value. That's why I prefer it to the SMA because in trading in financial market, the latest values are the ones that give us the best information. And as we can see, we just need like five line of codes or six line of codes to create our two comma. And that's pretty interesting. And you can do the same for the 50 or the 100 indicators of this library. I do not remember the exact number. The second type of features that you can create is the statistical features. You can create very simple ones like average volatility, which is standard deviation and variance, some basic stuff like that. Or you can go deeper on some more complex things like the statistical test. And here I will give you an example of a basic statistical indicator and a more advanced statistical indicator. Let's begin with the rolling volatility. I will give you two examples, the Parkinson volatility, which take into account the highest price and the lowest price to create this volatility. So it will compute the intracondal volatility. And the second one is the Yang Zen estimator which this one take the open price, the lowest price, the highest price, and the close price. So it will take all the information available. And unfortunately here, as we can see, I needed to create the code on my own. So that's something that you should have to do sometimes. And that's not really a bad thing because if you need to create by yourself the code, it means that it's not something that is really used in the market. And that's pretty interesting because it means that if you find something interesting with a features that you have coded by yourself, it reduces a lot the risk that other traders use the same trading strategy than you. But if you are the only one which trad with this trading strategy, it means that you will keep your edge on the market much longer. And again, all the codes that I'm showing you are available into the description because they come from the one week one bot challenge playlist that you can see on my YouTube channel. And the last indicator that I wanted to show you is the rolling ADF. The ADF, AD Fuller test, is a statistical test that will highlight if a time series is stationary or not. Stationary is the statistical world for ranging. So this test will help us to say, okay, the market are ranging or the market is trending. And here I created it using the stats model library for the statistical test. And to have this rolling test, I just use pandas. And here you can see the rolling ADF statistic with the associated close price. So it will give you an idea about the information that this statistic can bring into our model. And I want to insist on this point. On the market, you will not find an amazing features like the example I gave you for the taxi database, okay? Because the market is too complex for that. The goal is to create several features that each bring a small added value, okay? And then use them all in your model to bring more information to predict the target. And that brings us to the third type of features engineering, which is the machine learning model. I will give you an example. You have, for example, created 50 indicators. The problem is that some of them are correlated to each other because at the end, they all come from the same raw data. So our mission will be to keep all the added value that you have, reducing the number of variables. And that's called unsupervised machine learning. And the goal is to reduce the dimensionality of our features, reducing the number of features, keeping the maximum information possible. You can use a lot of different type of models to do that, but the most known one is the PCA, Principal Component Analysis. 
And for those of you who want a real life example and are into the AlphaQuant program, you can just take a look to the three PCA quantile trading strategy, which use this technique. I hope you like this video. If you have any question about anything, feel free to drop it into the comments area and I will answer to your question. And see you soon in the next video.